Hey guys, Cookie Cigar Guy here. I'm back with a request explaining how to track a spell cooldown and the timer on that. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get started. As always, you would start out by opening weak auras with slash WA. And we'll go through this once in a very simple fashion so that uh, you can see what it looks like. And then I'll go through it again with a little more detail. Um, we're going to go ahead and make a new and you can use anything. But for this one, we're going to use an icon just to show you in a simple way. And then immediately go to your trigger. And we're, again, tracking the cooldown and duration before the cooldown is available with our weak aura. So it's real simple. Uh, in the trigger, you would set up as a status. And then under status, you'll get another drop down here. This would be cooldown progress spell. It's very important if you're doing this with a spell that you make sure that you're selecting the correct one. If you're doing it with an item like a PvP trinket or a trinket uh, that has a cooldown, you would do it with item. But uh, in this case, we're going to be doing it with Death Pact on a Death Knight. You can use it with talents or spells, anything of that nature. And then we're going to go ahead and type it in. Again, we're using this on Death Pact, so it wants to know the name of what we're tracking. And immediately it populates as soon as we enter that there. It shows us the icon. And we want to know not only when this is on cooldown. So if you have it set to on cooldown, it would show you how much longer before it's available to use again. Or if you set it to not on cooldown, it would only show you the icon when it's available for use. You would also set it to always so you can see when it's available and then how long before it's available. Uh, so we will show you always in this case. And I recommend to do that if you really want all the details on a specific cooldown. Because most classes don't have too many. So normally you can find a space on your screen for it. So you can track all your cooldowns simultaneously. And then make sure you have your load settings right. If you're on a death night, you really only want to see this when you're on a death night. And maybe you only want to see it when you're fighting something you would do it in combat. Or if you have a special talent selected, this is a talent death pact in this example. So I don't want to see it if I don't have this talent selected in your load settings. From there, uh, you can go over to display and tweak things around as you like. You guys can move this icon or make it bigger or smaller. It's whatever you want. I'll make it a little bigger so you guys can see it here. And then just remember to name name this something that's easy to remember or so it's easy for you to understand what you're looking at when you're in your list and then on this display you would want to track the cooldown and that's going to desaturate or if you hit inverse it will saturate as it becomes usable and then under the text you have a few options if you set it up with percent p that's progress if you watch right here when i type in percent p it shows a timer so now it'll show you exactly how long before the ability is available again by doing percent %P here. Uh, you can also do the maximum duration of a timer. That would show how long the timer can possibly be. You could do just the name by typing percent %N. So it'll show you the name. And then you have a few options there. Uh, but I recommend progress when you're tracking the duration of something. Just, just so you know exactly what's going on. It gives you all the information you could want. Uh, you can also do a tooltip on mouse over, so when you hover over it outside, and you can see the what the spell does. That's something you can do as well. Uh, but I'm going to leave it that way. It should be good to go. So if I close weak ores out, this is all done, and it shows me here that weak or, uh, that uh, death pact is available. And if I press it, it's going to go on cooldown, and it shows me how long before it's available to use again. Uh, so that that tracks the spell and how long before it's usable again. Um, if you're tracking something that has a duration, um, you can do it similarly, but you would also have to track the buff that it's giving you. So, for example, if you were to use Army of the Dead, um, it would track the cooldown and the mechanical aspect of the spell and how long you could use it before you could use it again, but it wouldn't necessarily show you how long your ghouls were going to be alive. Uh, so that's... That's something that uh, it's another. It's good for another video, and we'll get into that later. Uh, if you guys have any requests, let me know. I'm happy to show you some more stuff. I am going to run through this one more time in a real simple fashion, using empowered rune weapon. 
Uh, so again, from the top, open week or is new. We'll do icon in this case as well. We'll call this empowered rune weapon. And then we want to see this when it's on cooldown. We want it to show a desaturation or a saturation if you hit inverse. And then I also want to see the timer. So percent P to see the progress. And that's going to give me the timer here. And then a trigger. Again, this is a status. This would be a cooldown progress of a spell. And then the name of the spell, Empower Rune Weapon. And I want to see this always, or maybe I only want to see it when it's on cooldown. So I won't see this icon when it's ready, but once I've clicked it, it'll tell me how long before it's available again, if I have it set to on cooldown. But uh, again, I recommend always so you know when it's available and how long before you can use it again. And then of course, go to your load and make sure you're only loading this on something that's applicable. I only want to see this on my death knight, of course. I don't want to see it on a warrior. I don't want to see it on anything else. Just, just when I'm on my death knight. So that takes care of that. And you can move those around as you like. And again, you can change all kinds of fun stuff in here. The display lets you do a lot. You can also make it light up. Uh, there's a lot you can do with it. But uh, that, that takes care of explaining how to track a spell and its cooldown. You can do the exact same thing with an item by changing cooldown progress to item and then typing in the name of the item here. And that works on any trinkets or any PvP trinkets, anything that has a use effect that is an item. It would even work with like a like a, a potion if you're in a raid environment and you've got two minutes before your potion's available. You could type the name of the potion here and it would track that as well. Uh, so you've got a lot of options with this, but this should cover the basics for now. Go ahead and like, subscribe, let us know what you guys want to see next. And we really appreciate you guys watching. Take it easy.